Even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. We back. I'm good. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Trinity, and today I'm starting a new series. Uh, we're going to talk about what I came across on Twitter. I think I'm going to make this a series where I just get in front of the camera and tell you what got me feeling some type of way. What got me feeling salty. Just to talk about what has my edges curling back up. But first I'm gonna tell you guys about products that I got from Rose Girl. You should check out their website. This is how you pronounce it, it's Rose Girl. You know, a lot of people don't say girl, they say girl, but I like the classy name. All right, so one of the things I picked out on their website, is these shades right here, I think they look a little bit they go ahead and clean these all real quick. My sister almost fought me for these, y'all. She almost fought me for these. I let her borrow these for like one day and it was on and popping. Like she wanted to keep these shades. This is what they look like. I'm actually gonna put them on. I actually love shades like these. Ooh. Next thing I picked out was this bag right here. I just, I just love it. I love the look of it. It's like military army. That's me, that's 100% me. Love the inside of it because it has like this pop of red. What is this? Oh, some sanitizer, what's in my bag? <laughs> really love the pop of red in here. It's just like, boom, you know what I'm saying? Like I love the pops of color. That's, that's me, that's me. Oh, it kind of goes with my nails a little bit, you know? I love how the outside looks so neutral and solid and then once you open it, it's just kind of like, ooh, what's in her bag? So I really love this. This is just cute. This is inexpensive and cute. Next thing I picked out was this choker. You guys know I love chokers, even though I kind of have not been into them lately. I don't know what it is, but I picked this out, I guess, because I was still in it, still about that choker life. And I think it was the color that really drew me to it. Um, I'm not really into chokers like that. I actually like the back part better than the, um, the front part. So if I was to wear this, I would definitely flip it because I don't know, I think this is this side is cuter. All right, those are the things that I got from Rose Girl. Make sure to look below just so you can see where to pick up these things. They're really affordable. Now let's go ahead and get on to the foolery. Okay, let's get on to the foolery. <laughs> when I saw this, I couldn't even read the whole article. I just had to stop and I was just like, you know what, finish this on camera, finish this on camera. So let me go ahead and pull up this article. So here's the story. A woman in Regina Sasakishin, what? Experienced a dog owner's worst nightmare when she found pieces of meat in her yard that had been stuck Bruh. with razor blades. Bruh. What? But Emma said she was taking her two pups Pandora and Ophia, I think that's how you say that second name. She takes two of her dogs out for a bathroom break when she noticed three pieces of hot dog on the ground. So I'm guessing she didn't put these hot dogs there. I don't know, I would feel a little bit off if I saw food in my backyard that I didn't put there like, who throwing stuff over the fence? That's what I'm gonna think. Now Emma said it was super nice outside so she decided to sit on the front patio and wait till they finish their business. Until she noticed that her dog sniffed the piece of meat that was in the yard. She said she knew something was off because the meat had a bit of shine. Dang girl, you saw shine from the patio? She wasn't playing. So after she saw the shine on the hot dog, she went to inspect it. Her stomach just dropped. This is a picture right here and it's actually on the article. And I wonder if this is an actual picture. Wait, let me see, there's a video. She uploaded a video on her Facebook page. So I'm gonna play this video. Oh my goodness! That was a real wait, pause. That was a real picture, you guys. That wasn't clickbait. This looks deadly like this person really intended to really hurt someone's dog. Like, what? She said, it astounds me that someone would want to hurt my precious dogs or any dogs in that manner. And I agree, like, what? And who is it, bruh? This is the neighbors, bruh. The only thing that surprises me is the fact that she doesn't know who it is. Like, I'm curious to know if she has neighbors, cause y'all, it would it would be on and popping. You trying to hurt my dogs? Oh, somebody gonna get these hands. Somebody gonna get dealt with. Somebody gonna get punched in the throat. What y'all think below? Let me know below. How would you feel if you saw a hot dog with blades, razor blades in it. What? You would feel salty. I know, y'all ain't even gotta tell me. I know we all about to get salty. She basically is letting everyone know, you need to check your yards. 
and you need to check your neighbors. The saddest part about this is someone's child could have been in the yard playing. I know kids, I mean, they'll put something in their mouths. Let's just be real here. So for a kid to recognize what a hot dog is and, mm -mm, and possibly eat it or bite it, like who did this? I wanna know who did this, cause I mean, need to get these fists in your throat because that's horrible does this not make anyone else angry i mean it makes me angry it makes me not want to trust people honestly i got trust issues y'all after going through a lot with my ex which just wait on it and just reading crazy stuff people just doing stupid stuff the ariana grande concert lord oh my goodness i don't trust people like that and i don't think anyone should trust people like that like you gotta keep you gotta watch it back. You gotta be aware of your surroundings and you gotta be aware who you're dealing with. Let me know what you think below about all of this. I know, I know we all on the same page. Like who would be happy about this? Who who would dislike this video? Somebody, somebody gonna do it. We somebody gonna do it. <laughs> But yeah, just comment below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Shout out to this person right here for being part of the J team, for being part of the family, for being loyal. If you want a shout out like this, all you gotta do is hit that bell. Of course, be subscribed to my channel. And let me know below. Because I know you watching, and I know you here, but, but is you loyal? Make sure to go check out Rose Girl below. It's gonna be in the description box. Whatever you do out here, make sure to be bold, brave, and beautiful. And I will talk to you on my next video. Bye!